And finally, new rule, if 21st century America really is a service economy, and I guess it is since 80% of American jobs are in the service industry, somebody has to tell me, then why does the service here suck so bad? <laughs> <laughs> if we're the service people, why am I still on hold with Eastern <laughs> Airlines? Uh, last week, a recording went viral of a Comcast customer service rep arguing endlessly with a customer who just wanted to cancel his service. It was 18 minutes of a guy saying, I'd like to cancel. Why? Doesn't matter. Just want to. Why? Please, I'm just looking to terminate. Why? Folks, I'm no business expert, but I don't think your customer service experience is supposed to feel like a car ride with a four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I, I don't mean to pick on Comcast. I'm just using their name because it's illegal to kill them. <laughs> and of course, you know, later they apologized and said, this is not how we train our customer service representative. Yeah, except for one tiny detail. It's exactly how they train. <laughs> They're not in the service industry. They're in the small print industry. And this is the new business model in America, annoying you out of your money, wearing you down until you're too weak to complain, and then when you just can't go on and die, charge you for early cancellation. <laughs> <laughs> or just make something up and put it on a bill and hope no one notices. What the hell is a resort fee at a hotel? <laughs> resort fee? I went straight to my room, rubbed one out, and went to bed. <laughs> when was I resorting? Why, because you have a treadmill? <laughs> it's like going to a restaurant and being charged extra because they have a candle on the table. <laughs> Why don't I just have the maid take a couple of 20s out of my wallet when she's in the room? We'll call it an undocumented surcharge. <laughs> <laughs> or how about the surcharge the airlines tack on for the privilege of bringing luggage on a trip? A new survey <clears throat> finds that America's airlines are the, wor are the world's most profitable and <laughs> the world's least comfortable. <laughs> Why? Because they can. Because mergers and consolidation and no options is great for business. You know, the flight attendant always says, we know you have many choices in airlines. <laughs> and I always think, come on, honey, that line is older than you are. <laughs> And that's the problem with the free market today. It's not free or much of a market. When was the last time the government said no to a merger? It, it's, it's one of those vague memories like lawn darts or pubic hair. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch wants to buy the company that owns this channel, at which time this show will become paste-eating time with Steve Ducey. <laughs> Americans need to start recognizing that big business is the new big government. It is the massive, unwieldy bureaucracy that just doesn't work. Goldman Sachs may have been too big to fail, but the phone company, the credit card company, the mortgage company, the insurance company, they're all too big to care. Everyone bitches about the post office, but at least there are people behind the counter there, which is more than I can say for Rite Aid. I wandered around there for 30 minutes the other night looking for someone to pay for my cough syrup. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't have a cough. <laughs> my friends on the right have this unshakable idea that the free market is always perfect because it lets consumers find the best product at the best prices. And that's a nice idea for business school or at the Ayn Rand Charity Haters Club. <laughs> but here in Realityville, what happens is you get cable from the one cable company in your city and you sign a piece of paper and then Rumpelstiltskin comes to your house and sodomizes you and laughs. <laughs> I'm kidding, he doesn't come to your house, you have to call. <laughs>